What's good guys, it's Nick here, back at it again with the Dink Ass Memes. Um, we played Goki today at Area 51, Friday Night Yu-Gi-Oh! Got first, went undefeated. Round 1 and 2, played against Draco. Stressful matchup, went into time, buff rallies, went off of that. Uh, round 3, played against Jack, playing Cyber Dragons. That was a stressful matchup too. Game 1, I should've gone him and I didn't, and I lost because of it. And then Game 2, 3, we came to come back. And then round 4, we played against Dario. He's a scrub, so we scraped him. Shout out to Dario. <laughs> Alright, so Let's like I said, we were playing it. Goki, so um, we have the three Suprex, I mean like if you're playing Goki and you're not playing three Suprex, you're kind of playing the deck wrong. Uh, same thing with Twist Cobra in my opinion right now. I know a lot of people are like going to be playing like less of this because they're playing like Hero Kid builds and stuff, but like, uh, you just, you want to draw a Goki and start your combo with a Goki still, because you want the name Cycling throughout the combo. And because of that, we also did two headbat <laughs> and uh, two octa stretch. You you've always played two octa stretch, but um, uh, in previous lists, like especially back when you were playing all of the Goki names, you only played two headbat or one headbat. But it comes up again, and Trace Star is really popular because like Electromite got hit, so it's kind of important to have the second one in case you get uh, reincarnation. We didn't play the level five or the level six. So those are only good if you can play drones, and since it's at one, it's bad now. Um, then we just did other extenders. We played three junk forward. And then also a few marauding captain. Uh, they're hobby league, so I'm a cheater. Uh, a lot of people are like taking this card out, but the reason I'm still playing it is because you play Hero Kid, and the best two card combo in the deck is uh, marauding captain plus Hero Kid, because then they just kind of look at you like you're crazy, and um, then you win. Um, we played uh, Armageddon Knight. I guess it's a good card. It's still technically a one card everything, but like. I've never really liked this card, but it just it gets you to Mali, and if you don't draw anything else in your hand, it's good. And Mali's like nuts in this deck, it doesn't matter if you open it, because uh, then you can just summon your Aqua Dolphin, and Aqua Dolphin is like freaking insane. If you draw a hand, like this is the other reason why Marauding Captain Hero Kid is like insane, because you summon this off of your Soldate, and then you steal up two extra cards, so you take six, so they literally can't play. The one of Ibli, she's been through some stuff. Uh, that's it for the monsters, there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, we play three equip spells, two standard ones, and then, um, you know, one that nobody else plays, Clarent. Um, I don't know why I play this one, I was going through my bolt, looking for like a Lumiere shield, couldn't find one, over Den Burial, couldn't find one. Saw a Clarent, I'm like, I guess I'll meme on people for now. Should probably be like an Overdone or something, but you know. Uh, then we have the one of power cards, the Rota, the one for one, and then, um, we play drones still. Because it's still just another extra monster, it's like you're playing four copies of Instant Fusion now. Um, then we have the Reborn and the Soul Charge, just like blow out cards. Uh, we're back up to two rematch now, because um, you come into grind situations a lot more, because you'll draw like a standard like Goki plus Extender, and that doesn't get you everything, that just gives you extra Link and Gumbler. And so in the grind game, you just rematch and make a Moral Sword, and you still win. And then uh, we played two Call by the Grave, except I don't know how to pronounce it because it's in German. And then we play 3 Instant Fusion, because it's still the best extender, I don't care what anyone says. Uh, main deck's 42 cards, we weren't playing hand traps because we're ballsy. Uh, tokens, shout out to uh, Gerardo, best player on Jobber, stole this from him too. Uh, the Dragoness, uh, because I can't find my Raijin, so we played the Dragoness. <laughs> Uh, the one of Soul Day is still only one. If it gets cherries now, like you just, you pretty much just auto loot lost anyways. You can't really play Reproducus anymore because drones isn't a thing. So like you just have to rely on the one. You could play Mrs. Radiant, but I can't find the space for it in the extra deck. I'm playing it right now. Uh, to go with it, you play the Summon Sorcerers, of course. Um, and then just like the generic links, you have the Link Robo signed by the Goat Ricky. Uh, you have the Underclock, and then um, I play Binary Sorcerers. Um, now that Goblin's banned, you have to have another Link too that points like to the sides in order to complete your Trigate properly instead of making Unicorn. And um, this one is really good going second because uh, you can make it point to your Boral Sword and then you give Boral Sword like 4250 attack off of a Firewall and then you make this, you climb this into the Trigate and then your Boral Sword is attacking for 4250 and it's attacking for double damage so you win. Um, Nightmare Package, the One Mermaid and then two of each of the other good ones. Because when you combo, you actually go through literally all five of these cards. If not five, you go through four. And so you have to play this, because Goblin's gone. 
And then the big links, uh, the Trigate, because it's the GOAT, uh, the Gumblar, the Boral Sword. Um, this card's really important in my opinion now, because like I said, you're not always going to finish on turn one, you're not just going to blow them out, so you need backup play, and this is your backup play. And I guess we play Firewalk, because it's like the best card in the game. Uh, side deck. Uh, big forehead. Hey Trinade, shout out to Dario. He set two call by the Gary Zombie and I, I activated it on him and then he scooped. Uh, T Share Dried. Uh, because, I mean, it's Gold Rare so it'll trigger people. Same thing with Mistaken Rest. <laughs> it's Gold Rare so it'll trigger people too. And so you put this one in going first and this one in going second. And then uh, evenly match because it's the GOAT. I'm not playing Red Reboot because I can't find mine right now. So we played this instead. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll do a shout out to Gang. Uh, if you're in Gang, you know who you are. Um, shout out to uh, Area 51, best card store in this in the Northern California. Shout out to David. Uh, shout out to the boy Ken. Uh, you know, I don't. It's, it's Ken. <laughs> and then um, shout out to. Uh, my brother, even though he like doesn't come anymore. And shout out to the fanny pack. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, shout out to Obi. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you.